Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make some southern whiskey chili. It's simple, easy to make, you're going to love it, guaranteed. Okay, first we got to start off with some garlic and onions. i got to mince these up first. You just got to go like this. There you go, perfectly minced garlic. Then we're going to throw it into this bowl. Next up, we're going to dice up these onions. At this moment, the onions decided to strike back. There we go. Perfectly cut onions. They f***ed up my finger. Now let's move on to the tomatoes. If you've ever seen someone dice tomatoes with a knife, wait till you see it with scissors. Watch this. Boom! Dice tomatoes. This is how I split a green pepper. Okay, first, grab the stem, and you gotta hit it three times. One, two. There you go. Diced green peppers. Now we're gonna do the same three with the red pepper that we did with the green pepper. Well, and this time we're gonna use a banana because these things are a little bit more aggressive to break down with. So don't use a spoon, banana works way better. Okay, now, don't blink, because you're going to miss it. This goes real fast. All right, you ready? Here we go. Boom! Diced red pepper. Okay. Okay, for this next step, I'm going to make it as easy as possible for you. What we're going to do is we're going to cut up this squash. All right? This is what we're going to do, right? Okay. We're going to take this squash. We're gonna bring it over to this toaster oven, right? Go ahead and open this up, set it in here. We're gonna set it up to, let's say, uh, 350 degrees. Turn it on. In about 10 minutes, it'll be ready. All right, here we go. All right, there we go. Perfectly cut, straight from the toaster oven. Alright, now we're gonna cut up some celery. This right here is probably the hardest thing you're gonna have to cut right here. Let me show you. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Boom. Okay, now we're gonna cook the meat. First, you wanna get your pan hot before you start cooking this meat off. And we used a special Southern Austin blend of seasonings for this meat. Now we're gonna cook this off with the chili. It's gonna be great, man. Just break it down. We don't want too big of a chunk. Alright, now that we've got the meat in the pan cooking, I want to add a little bit more extra salt to it. Not too much. We're going to add more later on. Okay, now that we got our chili for our meat cooked all the way down, we're going to use the same pan to cook our garlic and onions in. Oh wait, but first, we're going to throw in some bacon grease. You can throw in any type of oil if you want. Bacon grease to me, I feel, is more, uh, more tasty. Alright, yeah, let, let that melt. And then once that melts down, go ahead and add in your onions and your garlic. Okay, now that we've cooked it for about, like, two minutes, three minutes, Let's go ahead and add our veggie mix that we cut up. Yeah. 
green, red pepper, squash, celery. Mix it all up in with the onions and the garlic. Okay, now that you got everything mixed together in this pot, you want to make sure everything is cooked nice and good before we start adding the other ingredients. So, let's put a cap on it. We're going to steam it just a little bit to help cook it down some more. Okay, now that we let it cook for about like two or three minutes, we're going to take the cap off. Give it a nice good stir real quick. Let's go ahead and deglaze the pan. We're going to put about a quarter of a cup of whiskey in. I'm going to do half a cup. Just because I love whiskey. Oh yeah, that smells awesome. Mm, I love scotch. I love scotch. Okay, mix it up nice and good in there. Now we want to burn off all the alcohol. This stuff can't get you drunk. Sorry to say for some of y'all. No, wait, wait, let me say something. Let me say something. <laughs> okay, now once you feel confident enough that your veggies are cooked down, we're gonna go ahead and add the tomatoes. After we add these tomatoes, let's go ahead and turn down temperature to about a medium low. Let it get a good simmer. We don't want it to cook down too quickly now. Okay, once we've mixed the tomatoes, we're going to add some extra seasoning to the veggies. We're going to use some cumin. about a teaspoon, a teaspoon of chili powder, and another teaspoon of parsley flakes. Mix up it real nice, real nice and good. You're gonna love it. I promise, it smells amazing. Okay, I want you to get a good look at this right here. This is our veggie mix. Looks bomb, smells bomb, it is the bomb. Bomb.com, y'all. Now we're gonna add the broth. I'm adding beef broth to this one. What about three cups? Three cups would be good. Mix it in together. And then don't forget to turn the heat back up. We're gonna move it to a medium high. Drop some of that flavor in there. Let's go ahead and put a cap on it. Now we're going to add the meat to the mix. We want to cook the meat with the veggie. Mix that up. Okay, once you've heated up the broth to where it's up to a boil, you know that your food is ready. All the ingredients are in. This is the Southern Whiskey Chili. You're welcome. Cut. Hey guys, thanks for watching my southern chili video. It's a very mild chili. If you want to make it more spicy, you can add jalapenos, Tabasco, some sriracha, whatever you like. But subscribe to my channel, let me know what I can do to improve, 
And thanks for watching. See you soon.